Hello. As you can see, I've got a little Easter bunny bag for collecting Easter eggs. Uh, this is the weekend of Easter for many Christians in the world. Uh, for Orthodox Christians, Easter won't come until for another month or so. Uh, but in most parts of the world, children and grown-ups are celebrating Easter. Uh, and you'll be in stores and you'll see Easter bunnies, Easter eggs, uh, you might have Easter egg hunts, and this is a nice little, it's not a basket, but it's an Easter egg uh, holder made of an Easter bunny here uh, for such an Easter egg hunt. So we've got some colored Easter eggs in here. Uh, there's even an Easter egg that has Holy Ghost Church depicted on it. I don't know if you can see that. And here's an Easter egg, also made of wood. Easter egg with an icon, a picture of Jesus on this. And so the question I want to ask is, what does all this, the bunnies, the Easter eggs, what does all this have to do with Jesus? Because for Christians, Easter is all about Jesus. So how are these two things connected? Well, I'll start with the Easter bunnies and the eggs. Uh, because a long time ago, before Christianity began, uh, especially in Europe, uh, there was someone called a goddess, someone who was, people thought, was in charge of spring. So the new life that came in spring after winter. And her name uh, was called Easter. Uh, that's where the name comes from that we have for Easter. And the goddess of spring, of fertility, of new life, uh, was depicted as a rabbit, at least this is one of the stories, was depicted as a rabbit, a magical rabbit, uh, who laid eggs. Now you know that rabbits do not lay eggs, uh, chickens lay eggs, uh, but in this mythical story, the rabbit laid colorful eggs. And there are lots of other stories that developed about that, for example, that the rabbit would bring colored eggs to especially good children, uh, sort of like Santa Claus brings gifts to, to good children. Uh, those kinds of stories developed. But how did this get connected to the Easter that is celebrated in the Christian church? Uh, because Easter has nothing to do with rabbits and little eggs. Or does it? Well, it is about new life. Uh, so we can make Easter eggs. And in fact, on, on Easter, we do make eggs as a symbol of new life, because out of the egg, what comes out of an egg is a, is a, is a new chicken, right? Uh, so that's a symbol of new life. And new life is what we get through Jesus. Now, let me take, take you around. I'll, I'll take the camera and I'll show you uh, what we talk about as Easter uh, in the church, when it's not talking about uh, rabbits and, um, and Easter eggs. So here is the start of the, the real Easter that's celebrated in the church. And it's not a very happy start at all. Uh, in fact, it's very sad. Because if you remember, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. That's what we celebrate on Christmas. And he was a teacher. He was a good man. And unfortunately, there were some people who really didn't like him at all. And they were so mad at him for his teaching that they put him to death in a very terrible way. They nailed him uh, to a cross. So that's Jesus in the center, nailed to a cross. And here you have his mother standing by the cross and also his disciple named John. But his crucifixion, and then he was buried, was not the end. After three days, some women and his disciples came to the tomb where he was buried, and the tomb was empty. Now, no one saw how Jesus rose again from the dead, but here's an icon, we call it an icon in the church, an icon that shows Jesus rising from the dead. 
He wasn't in the tomb anymore. They found the tomb empty. And then the disciples went and told the other disciples. And from that time on, the Christians have been celebrating the empty tomb, Jesus in the empty tomb. Later, Jesus, the risen Jesus, in a new form, was alive again, appeared to his disciples. And that's why Christians continue to celebrate Easter uh, as a celebration of new life, a new human life. So it's not about bunnies and eggs. Uh, it's about new life. So that when you look at an egg, an Easter egg, you can think of the risen Jesus, Jesus coming out of the tomb uh, as alive again. And that's been the, the faith, the belief that Christians have had uh, right from the beginning when Jesus was first discovered to not be in the tomb. The tomb was empty. And that's why Christians around the world will say, Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen.